Is this how you were going to wear it if you were going to go ice skating or is this going to be inside the denim? Inside. So let's Definitely. put it inside the denim. Don't curse on YouTube. Oh, we do not curse on my channel. <laughs> you see, that's what you get when you're collaborating with Fourth Wall and we didn't pay for this merch. She's like disrespecting it. If you actually paid $25 on this t-shirt, you wouldn't be putting it possibly on cow manure. This is a good place for a photo shoot in terms of steals. Uh, the dog is barking. You're about to fly that way. Ah, okay. okay. On the 31st of January, I set out with Sivan, aka iQueen Style, and Nicole, aka nomadically Nicole, to a photo shoot for Sivan's Ice Queen Style fourth wall store. Now, the name of the store, Ice Queen Style, is not because it's for people who love ice cream, even though I don't know if Sivan likes ice cream. Hmm, it's because Sivan's niche is ice skating because she's an ice skater and she uploads videos onto Instagram about ice skating. So we ordered a bunch of products in advance and Sivan flew all the way from Germany to Bansko to have this photo shoot with us. And Nicole, of course, tagged along because I don't think you need three people for a photo shoot, but you do need three people for a photo shoot if you want to make a YouTube video <laughs> about that. We sat outside, um, the purpose was to test a few products. Some of them have not arrived yet because I made the mistake of ordering something from the US and it's stuck at customs and I don't speak Bulgarian, so it's a little bit hard to get it out. But we did end up doing really fun stuff, whether it's for Sivan's store, like photos that will be on her store, photos that will be on her Instagram, or even videos for her to use for Instagram reels, or if she wants to open her own YouTube channel. Kind of did like a video YouTube intro part. The products that we took with us were two t-shirts from Sivan's store. One was the Bella Canvas 3001, and the other one is a polo embroidered t-shirt. We also took a binny, not the binny that was designated for Sivan, but one of my binnies that I ordered for the embroidery video that I want to make. We took a phone case with us. I just, you know, not even just products for her, but just like to make this, this video of us photographing a lot of things to make this a little bit more inclusive to other products that maybe she's not using. We also got socks, a sports bra that she's going to model when it was freezing outside. Literally, this is in the snow. And a notebook, because we thought it would be cool. I feel like the notebook and the binny kind of became like the best thing in that one, but never mind. There will also be a special surprise for one of you guys. A bottle that I purchased during the rapper contest from Society6 went with us to the photo shoot. There are cool photos of that, and they're going to be on the Facebook group for the owner of them to use them for commercial purposes. As I mentioned before, we were joined by one of the nomads who is visiting Vansko, nomadically Nicole, who from what I heard, also opened a fourth wall shop now. So that's kind of cool. And the plan was that I'm going to take photos of Sivan while Nicole is going to be filming us for this video. And I think we kind of switched in the middle. There were parts in which we switched and Nicole was taking photos of Sivan and I was taking the video for all of this. In order to make it more accessible to you guys, we actually filmed using iPhones. I mean, what you're going to see us in is my Sony ZV-E10, the camera, but we were taking photos and videos of Sivan and her clothes and of me with an iPhone. We also tested out my hoodie, my cotton heritage hoodie that is embroidered with a cow and that doesn't fit me all that well in that video and took some really, really cool photos. I even did a part where you don't need someone else to take photos of you, whether I was taking selfies of myself or I was taking a photo of the product without the product being on someone but just like being outside. As you can see from the title of this video it's called part one because there will be probably part two and part three. The part two I'm designating it to be kind of like me filming or making a photo shoot at home by myself which is something that you guys can do how to take good photos and videos by yourself and part three is going to be how to actually use these things so in part three i'm going to show how i'm changing some of the photos in sivan's store maybe some of the photos in mine and also selecting things for reels maybe even editing them with my phone with a very simple app and nothing too high tech about it i'm pretty sure we could have done a much better filming day but i really wanted it to be so accessible to everybody here. I'm, I'm not saying that the mountains and the snow are accessible, but hey, hands up if you have snow in your country because photos look amazing, products look amazing on the snow. Now we were filming the items, but 
we were also filming the niche. So for example, there were photos of Sivan in some kind of nice ice skating pose with the background, and you can't really see the t-shirt. And also when we just got started, we encountered this like icy road, and I was thinking, oh, this is really not for ice skating. Oh, this could be cool as a photo idea. So when you go outside for a photo shoot, also think about you and your niche rather than just the products. Now, one thing I would like to apologize for, I'm here, in my set, I have my professional lighting, I have my microphone, the Fiffin, by the way, if anybody is asking, if everybody's asking, this is the Fiffin microphone, and I have my camera on me, and I'm editing the sound, and it's a very controlled environment, but when we went outside, that wasn't the case. Some of the parts, especially when we met Nicole, was filmed with my iPhone, the other parts were with a camera, we didn't have this microphone with us, and we were outside, and the, the sound of this video is going to be a little bit different, I guess, than the normal sound in the last few months. That's what happens when you're in the field. With that said, let's go back in time, go downstairs from my apartment, and meet Nicole to start our print-on-demand photo shoot. Welcome to our parking space, and hello, Nicole! Woo, 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 woo! I'm not walking on this. This is so slippery. Don't curse on YouTube. We do not curse on my channel. Oh, see. No, I'm kidding. I do that all the time. <laughs> Hi, Nicole. Hi, Sivan. Hi. Let's head over to the cows. This is less slippery here. Guy, okay, filming on the ice. Not, not the ice skate that you were thinking of, right? <laughs> okay, I think we need to switch to different cameras now because I do have an idea. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so this was a bit unplanned. Hi, Nicole. Uh, but we do see this like long icy road and we are photo shooting for Sivan's Instagram, not just for her product. So Sivan, uh, take those uh, protectors off the skates and we're going to take like a really cool photo for Instagram that's going to like not something that you want to do. Like you don't want to ice skate on that. Sivan, come in. Place the skates, stand in that like bubble area. Try to place the skates, and I'm gonna take a photo of you with my phone. As you can see, this is just normal photography mode. And for comparison, I'm also gonna use the portrait aspect. You need to be a little bit backwards to catch the portrait. And we're gonna go with studio light. Okay, and I'm gonna take another one from a different angle, just on the photo mode. Sivan, look at the road ahead. Like... Continue looking. Hold up. Should we do, like, the mountains in the background? Uh, it won't fit the, the shot. I also don't want to get, like, all the... I don't want to get, like, all the car license plates. So what I'm getting like is a view of the street because the whole point of it is that you can't ice skate on that so people need to see the ice. Now everything that I'm doing I'm also doing horizontal and vertical so it can fit multiple social media platforms and multiple things she might want to use this for. With that I'm going to save on battery. We're going to go past the cows and uh, start this actual photo shoot. So we were walking and walking and walking in the snow and we were searching for a place to film. And it looked like we found just the right place when we encountered an unexpected problem. This is a good place for a photo shoot in terms of stills. Uh, the dog is barking. Uh, generally speaking, when it comes to direct sunlight, trees can be a really good thing because they mask some of it, so it's a lot to play around. And we're just going to go here. The dog is behind the fence. I don't think he would have come by now. This could be a nice... I think this is a nice place to play around with. Especially around that hill. <sighs> I think yeah. we're going to need to walk further. Yeah, we're going to change locations. That dog is pissing me off. We needed to move. The dog could not have stopped. Obviously, if we were just taking photos for her store, the dog barking wouldn't have been an issue. It was tied, it was indoors, it wasn't a threat to us. But, you know, we couldn't film the video that you want to see <laughs> with, that, with that dog barking. So we did move, and I'm happy we did because that location was much, much better. Okay, drop the bag on the drive. You can't push it unless you have to. 
Now the best part about it is that it's below freezing degrees and Sivan is going to model a t-shirt. Heide. Mm. Alright. She's time. also going to model a sports bra. Ooh. Why am I, why am I feeling like I'm burning up right now, huh? <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to casually, like no one is actually doing, grab the skis and like wear them around your shoulder like this in a way that doesn't damage you. Now, okay. one thing that you need to know when you're filming uh, clothes and stuff like that, and I've learned that from YouTube, from editing my videos and seeing that I have a big gigantic hair on my t-shirt, is that... <laughs> No, not just the hairs. I mean, if you have all the hair here, that's fine. But if you just have like a random hair somewhere here, so we're gonna just shake it off a little bit. Is this how you were gonna wear it if you were gonna go ice skating or is this gonna be inside the denim? Inside. So let's Definitely. put it inside the denim. Okay. This is also something that I, I think I spoke about this in one of the videos about when you have your own product, you can actually showcase how a t-shirt looks when it's outside, when it's inside, and basically creating that multiple looks kind of thing that psychologically takes the potential buyer from thinking do I want this to how will I wear it which is something that we really like with online consumerism anything that can get the buyer to imagine how they're going to use this product how it's going to look in their home how it's going to look on them or even how the packaging will look like is a very good psychological tool to get more sales simple as that wave around you okay battery okay so again my purpose here is to create content that she can use for several purposes one for the shop itself as a main image for this t-shirt and for that if you're on fourth wall for example then the recommended size is 900 by 1200 pixels which means we are filming vertically aligned. Now, if you're on Etsy, for example, selling this with Printful products or with Printify or whatever you choose, then we are talking about more horizontal alignments or one-by-one -one ratio alignments. Now, the thing that you can do is to come in, do a few close-ups, but then also go a little bit backwards. So, for example, if I take a photo of her that is vertically aligned and I go a bit backwards, I can still crop it to be one-by-one -one ratio and also the same with horizontal alignment without actually damaging this. I will also be doing some content for Instagram, some content for Reels. Now, when it comes to Reels, we are telling a story. Um, I think, I don't know if I'm going to be explaining that today or a little bit on in the video or in a different video, but let's just see some stuff. First of all, she's looking at us like this, which is very nice, but you're supposed to model the print. <laughs> <laughs> Hair back. back or to the other side because this print is very centered to here. Okay. Now she's right dominant hand but for the sake of this photo shoot she's going to be holding the skaters on the left because this is more centered to the left the print and I want this to look good. So like, you should like go against your instincts. You wave it on the left and you put your hair to the right which is against your instincts but that's what looks good. Now I want to call to we're, we're also going to show the photos on the screen so don't worry. Uh, but I don't want you to look at me. I want you to look somewhere. Okay, and now uh, try to imagine that we're not holding a camera. Okay. And just be. Okay. Now, I do have on the iPhone 12 mini, and I think every model sends the iPhone 12 mini the option to zoom out. So I'm going to choose that, and we do have a bit of a problem with the sun. So we are going to move. You should always try to get your, the person who's holding the camera between you and the sun. So Nicole is going to be here because she's also going to play by these rules and she's going to be standing there. I'm going to be here and Sivan is going to look there. Now I want you to look that way. Now stand still, don't move. The hair doesn't matter obviously in terms of print on a man products, but it does matter for the photo. I want you to try to imagine looking um, at Forli Clover. Now, generally speaking, um, lower shots, like when you're looking at someone from below, can be a little bit unflattering, but in the case of Sivan, and in the case, I think, with the niche, it's, it really is, because it's more like of a power pose rather than, oh, my butt looks a little bit big. And Sivan has a nice butt. <laughs> okay. 
Now look at me. Smile as if you like ice skating by showing your teeth out. And we're gonna do one a bit from here. I'm gonna try not to block the light myself. Turn. Now I want you to keep your legs static, okay. your butt static, but from the waist up, look at me. And your face looking that way. Thank you. Trying to get myself out of the shot of the photo. Ugh. I have to be very flexible to do photo shoots. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna do some kind of round video. Sivan, I want you to stay exactly the same, which is weird because every time I say her name, she rolls her head. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna circle her. You will see that it's gonna be a bit of a trick to circle her in a very uh, cohesive way. Uh, but that's what I'm gonna try to do and we're gonna see if it works well for reels after. So I'm on video. Oh God. And I'm zooming in on the skate. Now, the second video that I am doing, from this point, I'm really zooming in on the skate. And I'm going to click on video. And I'm going to go back and show where we are. I'm also going to go from below. We might want to use it after. And I'm also going to go from behind her. This, is, this could be a nice shot regardless, even though the light is a bit off. But it is kind of a power pose. And then I'm going to do that again with the video. And every time I'm walking, it's like going down. And I'm continuing the video because I did a bad step. And then I'm zooming in. And then from here, I'm zooming out, face, and view. Now what I basically did is took four different videos, one approaching Sivan from the back, one turning around to the side, one continuing my turn, focusing on the t-shirt, and the other one from the t-shirt to the mountain. And the reason why I'm doing this in four different cuts and moving my camera is to create a little bit of that real vibe of the videos changing. It will also make it a lot much easier to edit the actual reel. And now Sivan is gonna drop the skis to the floor and take off her shirt. <laughs> YouTube, don't demonetize me. So for those of you who don't know, Printful, which you can sell on Etsy, Shopify, WooCommerce, or on Fourth Wall, have sports bras. And on top of the fact that you get to see one of their sports bras right now because they have two models, this one is one of the models of the bra. It's also padded. It has this white outline and it also has a black one as an option. The other sports bra is without this seam at all. It's a little bit more feminine cut in the front and a longer, like a, uh, a bigger, a wider kind of under boob line. Uh, I will be showing you both of these bras in a future video. I have ordered uh, both of them, but this is a good, I think, product review if nothing else. Let's do some power poses. Let's go a little bit there. Leave the skis, you don't even need Let's do some power poses. Now, basically what I said about the sunshine is the sun is that way, which means Nicole needs to be between me and the sun. I need to be between Sivan and the sun. And none of us need to shadow each other, which is actually not that tricky. You can see your shadow if you're filming. And if Nicole has a shadow, it's not that bad because it's for YouTube and not for an actual product. Uh, I want you to stand in the place where there is no shadows at all. We do have a little bit of the effect of, if you, Nicole, if you can turn on the camera, turn around. We do have a bit of the effect of the sun coming from the branches, so it does damper the strength of it a little bit. Now, if you're going to do an actual power pose, fluff yourself. Okay, I wasn't thinking about that, but that's good. Okay. I didn't say relax it. And we're going to do the same rotation thing that I'm rotating around her. Or zooming in. Actually, I'm going to be zooming out. The board skate. And for me to zoom out, I'm actually going to be here. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult to just zoom out naturally. And we're showing the view. If you guys don't have interesting view, that's fine. 
I don't think this is the optimal one either, but let's work with what we got. As you can see here, there is a shadow of me on Sivan, so I will not take the photo that includes my shadow on her legs. So if I'm filming her from this angle, I'm not gonna include the feet. Now, I might take the photo with the feet and both mine and Nicole's shadow on her, but I'm definitely not gonna feature it anywhere. Now, Sivan, I want the same directions from before. Legs, butt, don't move, forward to me. Forward to me more. You can do that, you can do that. Wave the hair back, you can't see the E. It's just scut. Let's do that. I'm gonna zoom in a bit, even though I prefer not to do that. And I'm also gonna take one like this with the view. And another one from below because then I'm not like in the way of anything. This one is actually good, Nicole, right? I think I like this one the best. Oh yeah, it looks good. Now I do need to catch the skate a little bit better. Superman pose. Superman! Sivan, how does Superman do? I don't know. Up, up, and away! <laughs> I don't know how to do Superman pose. Look at me. Hand on the waist. Okay. More forward. More forward. You are about to fly that way. Ah, okay. okay. I never thought I'd be saying that. <laughs> I want to fly that way too. Okay, just uh, hands on both of your waist. Dun, da, da, da. Skate girl to the rescue. I'm actually thinking to Photoshop like a cape behind her. Oh, cool. For an Instagram something. Okay, let's go back to the back. Sivan, let's go get the polo t shirt. Okay. <sighs> Nicole, how are you doing? Doing good. Yeah. Doing my best. How am I doing? I don't know how are you doing. I don't know how you're doing. I don't know how I'm doing. We'll get home and we'll and see. And you'll be like, wow, this is terrible, Nicole. Like, I don't you're think the it's worst. gonna be terrible. You know that like the photos you took of me and Bia, Sivan was shocked to hear that it's you. Oh, them, she's like, really? oh my god! She's I was really gonna good. say they, those are some pretty good yeah. photos. I think she's gonna want you to take photos of her instead of okay. me. So you know what? Maybe we photos. can just switch for this part. At this point, we decided that we wanted to make a switch. I do know that Nicole takes amazing still photos, and we were kind of arguing about the fact that she could take good photos of Sivan. Nicole also has a different iPhone than mine, so we thought it would be cool to switch, and I'm going to be directing from the camera, filming the video that you see, while Nicole is photographing or videographing Sivan. <laughs> so we switched. Uh, Sivan is still the model. It's still freezing to death. I am still. I am holding the uh, Sony ZV-E10, and Nicole is going to use your f her phone. Nicole, what what phone are you using? Um, this is the oh god, uh, the iPhone 14. Okay, so you have you have the, the same features that I have with the portrait mode and stuff. Yeah. Yes. You might have a better resolution. I think it no. I think the 15 pro. is a different resolution. It might be the Pro. I don't know. It has the three cameras. The three do cameras. I have the three cameras? I don't, I don't think even you know. do. No, I have two. Yeah, so okay, so Nicole's phone is even better. It's going to be interesting to see if we're going to get better results. Okay, so uh, Nicole, you're the director. Okay. What are we doing? We're, uh, Sivan, is this a... Oh, wait. You see? Like, see this no white thing here? Oh, yeah. Just shake yourself off. Okay. Um, two more steps. Stop. Take a minute. Okay. Um, Nicole, I just want you to have fun taking yeah. photos of this t-shirt. Come on. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, Sivan, sure. wait, no I want you to notice the biggest mistake here, which the hair was on the word Ice Queen. Uh, which, by the way, if I forgot to mention, this is the polo embroidered t-shirt that you can sell using Printful or Fourth Wall. I do know that other fulfillment companies have, you know, other ones, but that's where this is from. Let's move on behind Nicole and see what she's doing. Can you explain what you're doing, I lovely? i got, like, natural light going on here. Try to make I think I don't have natural light going on yeah, here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna try, like, to fit this in. Yeah, Okay. Oh. Let me go back up. Okay. Now, Sivan, is this how you were going to wear I'm this t-shirt, sure, yeah. if you're going to wear it, or are you going to okay. put it in? No, no. You're not going to tuck it in? Let's do a few tucked-in ones, just to okay. see. Okay. Because this is also a good way to show it. Yes. Sivan, don't look at the camera. Try looking that way. Yeah. By that way, I meant right, because no one yeah, could see me waving my hand. I can't really see you. There we go. Are you doing the portrait ones? Yeah. With which setting? Natural light. Okay. And Nicole, I want you to walk like two meters to your right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hold the camera horizontally. Yep. And Sivan, I want you to 
not move because we have some of the mountains here. That uh, could be a nice oh, addition. Oh yeah, I was gonna say I like I like mountain backdrops. Yeah. So. Yeah. They're gonna have fun. I'm gonna go get the skis. Just take more photos because we left the skis somewhere here. Hey, Ice Queen. Which, by the way, is the name of Sivan's brand, Ice Queen Style, in case we haven't mentioned it. Now, the hair is going to be completely pulled back. Zoom. I'm photobombing you. <laughs> the hair is going to be pulled back, and the skis... See? Like, for example, this hairs. Uh, and you're going to put the skis on that side, but we're not going to, like, look over the Ice Queen. Because the Ice Queen needs to be visible. That's the whole point. Okay. Can you shift a little bit over? Yeah, 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 because then we can see more ice cream. Nicole is getting in charge. I like it. <laughs> well, I like it. Like, I can't really read the, the ice cream. I much rather be behind the scenes. Okay. It's so much more but fun. I am no, like, professional. <laughs> oh, you know what will be good? Wait, wait. Uh, Sivan, just drop the skis and move. Nicole, can you take a few photos of just the skis? Let's move from the shot. Don't yeah, I was yeah. Say, I'm in the wrong. don't cover the shot and try to make sure that you are. I, I'm I'm covering the shot now. Look I what I did. This is like a bad. Should we move them? I think we need to just them? we just need to realign them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Perfect. Okay. Good. The thing is that while this is not a product photo shoot, we are talking about a niche, and when you are on a niche, you don't just film the product. You also actually upload content to social media relating to that niche. Let's do like a model kind of thing. Nicole, you can stay where you are. Okay. Sivan, I want you to come to exactly where the skis are. Okay. Nicole's gonna take one step back. And what we're gonna do is that she's gonna film you on video on vertically aligned position, okay. picking up the skis, holding them uh, in, a, in a normal position. I mean, if you don't throw them behind your back, then don't. If you just hold them by this, and you're gonna walk that way, like you're gonna walk to that to those two trees and the road between them. So Nicole is basically gonna, her? yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. you're gonna let her walk away. Okay. I'm gonna sing while they video. So again, Nicole's gonna video. She's gonna stay static. Sivan's gonna pick up the skis and she's gonna walk away, and I'm gonna sing because I'm bored. Sivan, do not look at the wait. Do not look at the camera at okay. any point. Okay. Shoot. Well, you only need the light when it's burning low. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Only know you love her when you let her go. Whoa. Only know you've been high when you're feeling low. And that will be enough. Sivan, get back here and we're going to do the same exact thing in horizontal position because Sivan might also have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Exactly for that purpose, because this could be a really cool, like, um, sort of this uh, intro to the videos, right? Yeah. Okay. The same thing again on horizontal placement. Should I center her or like put her off center? Or? Center. Okay. Center or across. Like if you're, uh, Nicole, if you're going to go a little bit to where your hat is, you're going to have a really good angle to be off center, moving to center when she walks. Okay. Okay, yeah, 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 I like that. Okay, let's go. Okay. I'm not singing on this one. It's gonna be such a long video. Now, Sivan is very standoffish when she's walking like this. I don't know if it's the fact that she's wearing sneakers or it's... Wait, stop! Now, you're gonna be with your back turned. Now, when I tell you to turn around, you're gonna walk towards, we're gonna actually move a little bit closer. Stay where you are. Sivan, go on top of that little mini heel, that tiny thing. Right there. Now Sivan's gonna stay there a little bit more, one step, two step further. Nicole's gonna be here. And what we're gonna do now is that when I say go, the initial position Sivan is gonna be with her back to us. When I say go, Sivan is gonna come on this path that she's already walked on, while looking at my camera, while Nicole is gonna film her a video, horizontal. Go. You're just walking on the same footsteps that you came in, because this is a straight path. 
That straight path is between me and Nicole. And when Sivan is more looking towards me, she's kind of not looking at the camera, she's not focusing on the other camera, she can focus on mine, when in fact the camera of Nicole is actually doing all the work. It's a great shot. Thank you. Okay, let's, move. let's go back to the bag. I think we have more stuff to do. By the way, Nicole's awesome. There's gonna be a bunch of links down below if you wanna follow Nicole in a yes. bunch of her activist, Whatever nomadic thing. <laughs> She's also traveling a lot of times. I'm a traveling house sitter. Yeah, it's for free. So if you wanna travel and stay in homes for free, follow me. She's also gonna open a fourth wall store, or she did. Yeah, I'm, star I'm trying. It's, it's in very beginner, bare bones. We're gonna like... get you from beginner to better. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Fun. What do we have in our goodies bag? Okay, let's look what we have more in our goodie bags. Now we have socks here, and I don't know if you can see, Sivan is wearing uh, her uh, warmer leggings, so we're not gonna film the socks on her. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna dump the skaters in the middle of nothing and put the socks on the skaters. They basically have the same thing that Sivan has on her t-shirt. Now we're also gonna take the t-shirt. Where's the t-shirt, Sivan? Again, again it was on the ground. <laughs> Turn it over. And I want you to like wave it, like clean it up. Yeah. Flach, 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 flach. Thank you. And now fold it. Okay. Now we're going to take the socks. Nicole is staying on as product photographer. I'm staying as behind the scenes. It is my channel, so I make the decisions. And Sivan is going to take the skates. And we're going to go here faster before both of our cameras die. Because it's just going to drop from like 85% to like two yeah. in a second. We're going to drop the skis here in the middle in any position you want. Okay. And we are going to put it a little bit on the ground. Now, the way we need to place it on the ground, I would place it here on this ski that way. No. Uh, yeah. Like that. Nicole's going to take some product photos. Nicole, if you want to do this one, just put your legs here yeah, and no. move your hand to the left. Yeah. That would be much better. Try to lift it a little bit up in case we want it to crop it or something. The reason why we're doing it this way is because we have to remember we have several purposes here. Filming the socks on the skis is really nice for the product store, like for as the main photo of the product. Filming the t-shirt on the skis is really nice for the product, for the store. But filming both of them on the skis would be really nice for social media. Or for the about page, the product page, or to, for example, talk about the collection of the word skate and that figure skater. We good? Yeah, okay. Forgot that I can use this one as a selfie one. So what we're gonna do now is that I wanna do a few product photos of my own. And here comes the part where you are all going like, but what am I supposed to do if I have no one to photograph me? I'm gonna show you how to do that. Nicole is gonna switch on as the director of this video and I'm gonna be directing myself uh, wearing a cow hoodie. I think that will be a good start. So I'm with the Cotton Heritage t-shirt in color. I don't remember the name of the color. It will appear on the screen. Thank you, Sivan. And I personally don't like this hoodie type that much on my body type. There will be a very comprehensive video that talks about the different hoodies and their body types. And also another one for t-shirts because I have, I think, I don't even know, I think like six or seven types of t-shirts, including bright options and dark options as well. Um, but this is what I got for this for this video. This is one thing that I had with the cow, which relates to my cow's project. And it's uh, selfie time. Sivan is gonna take her skis and her uh, skater socks <laughs> from the background. And I'm gonna walk towards the street. Nicole's gonna follow me. So I'm positioning myself with the sun a little bit on top of me. And I don't know if we can catch this on camera, but like there is a really uh, stiff, uh, thick part of the of the tree that is like mm -hmm. can, looking as a block. So if I'm looking right now, the way I'm looking, I can't see the sun at all. And uh, can you zoom in here, for example? I need to think what I'm doing with this, if I'm tucking them in or not, because they are affecting this look. Just gonna style my hair a bit. And on iPhones, for those of you who don't know, if you click on the volume, it takes a photo. So I'm going to take several photos of me. I feel very puffy. This is so not my size. I really much prefer the, 
the Gildan uh, 18,500, I think, is the hoodie, or the 18,000, I forgot which one of them is the hoodie, which one of them is the crew neck, but I'll put it on the screen. I really much prefer that as a fit for me. This one, I just feel like it's small on me and puffy at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate the part of me that feels like it's not good for the shot, which is the puffiness around my muscles in my hands and, and like the waistline. So what I'm doing with the shot right now is that I'm going to basically put my phone here and I'm standing up like this. I'm going to fix my hair and then I'm going to look down while clicking on the photo button multiple times, okay? I'm going to try another one with the tree. And of course you need to look happy. Otherwise it's a bit weird. I mean, why would I be depressed wearing this hoodie? That's what you need to think. I mean, you are the presenter of your product, right? And Sivan is going to try and take some. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we have in the bag of goodies, okay? Embroidery hat! Um, for those of you who like embroidery, take a good look at this embroidery hat. It will not be in the video because Ivan is living Bansko and she's keeping it because her embroidery hat did not arrive in time. I'm pretty sure it's stuck in customs <laughs> because it's made in the US. Rip. And I am going to cover <laughs> in the videos the whole Made in the U.S. versus made in Europe versus made in Canada versus made in whatever. Rip my country. It's made in the U.S. and it's shipped from the U.S. so it gets stuck in customs in the European Union. So unfortunate. It's not a rip. rip. It's a fact. Sivan is going to move away from uh, shadowing our photos. And what I thought would be funny would be to take this phone case, which is a beach, and you know, take photos of it in the snow. I thought it would be funny. We're going to see if it is or not. Okay, like that. And now I'm gonna try and stick it in the snow. Uh, maybe over on, on, on an edge. Like you could hoodie. probably do it in the snow. I think, yeah, I think it'll we, stand up. We need like some kind of... The snow's crunchy enough. I feel like we could stand it in it. Okay. I feel like it might work. Yes, exactly. That's, yes, that's exactly what I was... Okay, we're both gonna move. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'll go over here, I'll go over here. Yeah. <laughs> And too far! <laughs> Wait. This is the part where we curse a lot. I did I'm get that. I think if I would want to photograph this llama notebook, which you are going to see probably in a Lexica video. I'm not really sure. We'll see about that. And I'm going to try to think what to do with this llama notebook because I really want to take advantage of the snow uh, and the outdoors. But I also don't want it to get completely effed up. Maybe we can just put it uh, around that tree. I think the colors are nice, yeah? Hide it. No horse crap? Ow. It is really Fork. warm, actually. I wasn't Ow. expecting it to be so good. Aww. Fork. Aww. Fork. 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 Okay. I'm gonna place it here. Oh, yeah. Nice in the sun. And oh, it glares, huh? Well, if you get to right angle, Put like that. I'm at a good angle. You're at a good angle? Well, here, it was glaring here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I saw it. There it is. Yep. Okay, so glaring. why don't you go to my left yep. and photograph my phone? I think that will also be like, <laughs> um, as you can see, like the sun is coming from uh, that way. <laughs> and we're going to try and do this. Okay. I can zoom in a little bit. Just to have that notebook in nature. You know what, Sivan, come here. I want you to sit down scrunchy, like your back is, your butt is here, the yeshiva for final Okay. Uh, with the notebook in your hand. Okay. Try to imagine your knee, your feet being beyond these rocks and you're kind of like leaning against the tree. Oh my the God, tree, the like colors are corner. perfect. Her I know. things match it perfectly. We should have brought a pen, huh? Because <laughs> this is not like a photo for Oh this. yeah. Okay, so we have a really nice shot here. I am going to do some kind of, like, the notebook is not really the focus of this photo. And, of course, I'm also going to take a full... <sighs> I'm trying to put the... Try to just close it for a second. Okay. And, like, lay it on you a little bit. Like normal. I like the, the color combination with the... Yeah, the socks make it... Like... You know that editing this video is going to be a bitch, right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, 
that, that's my fault. Like we all like all different angles, cameras. We even started it with my phone. <laughs> Editing it is going to be horrible. You know the weird part of me doing this? I'm not even selling this llama notebook. But my cow notebook haven't arrived yet and I thought it would be a good opportunity to, you know, film notebooks. Uh, do we have anything else in the bag? Yeah. Let me also zoom on, on the hat. Let's do the hat. Sivan, I want you to look that way. Fully. Turn your face. <sighs> what do we have else to do? I don't know. Sivan, hmm. <laughs> you can get up. Like mermaid pose. <laughs> yeah, I know, but we're not staying here all day. We actually have to do some work. I know. As, as promised, uh, this belongs to one of you. So, Sivan's going to move. I'm going to be here. I'm going to casually be drinking from this, and I'm going to edit the stills photos from the camera that Nicole is doing right now. And I'm going to upload this to the group, so whoever is selling this on Society6 can just use it for commercial purposes. I really hope the tea is not that hot because this is really containing like the stuff. Nicole, do you want to direct me? Because I'm uh, holding what we're filming with. Sure. You don't have to click on any buttons. What we're just going to do is yeah. just, I'm going to freeze pose. Yeah, okay. You're going to drink, yeah. Okay, let's, let's stop this right here. And I just have three things to say. One, when I'm filming with my camera or more like when I'm editing with my camera, I can just stop the video at a certain point and click on export frame, which means take a video and turn it into a in, into still, into a still photo, which is something that I do, for example, when I create my um my thumbnails for YouTube, I just like freeze. And then I like save that frame and I can use it. So there are photos that we can use from this photo shoot as photos. Like I can just take photos from the video of this photo shoot. So that was kind of cool. The second thing is when you're filming a water bottle, don't have liquid in it because that water bottle did have liquid in it. And it was really hard to like not swallow all of it or have it all spill on me, especially when it was hot. And three, um, if you like this video so far or found this content useful and want to continue seeing the print on a man photo shoot and how to use these products series, please hit the like button down below because every time you do that, believe it or not, it really does help my channel and subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. Okay. Here now. Do that here. Can you do it like higher? Like move it up. I don't know. Mm. Oh. It's really hard to do it without all of it coming out. Oh yeah. shit! You actually no, 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 it's right. I'm holding it off with my tongue. Here, like, let me move it. I'm like sifting my it. tongue inside of this. Yeah. Oh. You know? <laughs> okay. Do that again. Actually, I think this angle will be better. Hmm. It's good tea, but you know. And I'm gonna do some product photos. It's a cute mug. Though. I don't know. I'm I so like tired. That. I like the cat. Yeah. And let's stick the cat in the snow. Yeah. You know what? We're gonna like uh wait. We need to find a patch of snow we haven't like that, stepped on. Right yeah, but that's no sun. Do you want to do one of me drinking with the mountains behind me? I like These mountains. These ones, I could be on the corner. Yeah, I could take it with my uh, okay. portrait mode stuff. Okay. I think I like these mountains over here. Or what if you went over here? The ridge then... is not that high, but okay. You see the, you see the. Uh, I see it. I see it. You see the frame better. Yes, I see it. <laughs> I trust you, a bit. Maybe try also. Try to capture. Where is the camera? Ah, it's on you. Hello. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine. It was fine. It's fine. We'll work on it. Maybe try to capture from this line of me or from yeah. like even lower. Just like me holding the bottle. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just the bottle without me. Uh, go uh, horizontal mode. 
like the bottle in the background. Like my leg, the bottle in the background on my hand. My very bad nail polish that I'm now very aware of. Nicole is very creative right now. Wait, Nicole, stay as you are. I'm taking a photo of you. Gosh. <laughs> you don't have to try so hard. Yeah, that's the stuff. I like this. This is a good... So, uh, as we were reviewing the photos right before we left the scene, and I really recommend doing it, and it's not just if you leave the scene, even if you're at home and you're filming yourself and your hair looks a certain way and you're wearing something in a certain way and the light looks in a certain way, go over the photos that you took before leaving that area, before stopping the photo shoot. Because what I found out is, well, we do have nice photos of Sivan wearing that skater t-shirt, which by the way is the Bella Canvas 3001. We don't have something that I would say is a good product photo for fourth wall. So I'm going to do that again. Um... I like. I think. I think you you like that tree. So Sivan is gonna go over to that tree because apparently she she liked flirting with it, and we're gonna follow. I think we also have like really good lighting, right? That yeah, that was that. I like that, that tree dark. too. It's like very Zara. I don't know. Wait. Oh, okay. you should probably put it back. <laughs> no, but it's in my way. Uh... I don't like that. Sivan, I want you to come. Yeah, cover it. More. More? Like yes. No, no, more with that leg. To me, to me, to me. More. More. Thank you. Okay. Now be comfortable. <laughs> I like my... Get comfortable. <laughs> now be comfortable. <laughs> that way. This tree? You love it. That's your tree. That's your jam. You don't have to try. Get out. The product one. I just took more lifestyle ones. We need a product one. Oh. What? Again? Again. Next to the tree. No, no. Stand up. We need product photos. We have lifestyle ones, but the product like is not visibly at full. Okay. If you want it for the main photo, for example, instead of a mock-up. Okay. <sighs> okay, so my shadow is touching her denim, but that's okay because I'm going to take the first photo and I'm going to crop that part out. And then I'm going to stay away a little bit further so that I make sure that my shadow is not touching her at all. Nicole is also going to stay a little bit back so we'll have a full set because she's in the frame. <laughs> you don't have to try and Sivan is going to go off on that ridge a little bit. Hair all the way back. Everything is back. Oh, actually, let's do some portrait ones, right? Yes. Yeah, I was going to say, I got some ideas over here, too. Let's do natural light. Let's move on to stage. Yeah, but this could work on some oh, stuff, you know? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, if you wanted just like a... This could background. really work. We're going to change to stage light mono for some interesting shots. And then we're going to do the high key. Oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> I love this one. Kind of looks spooky in a way. <laughs> this looks like a CD from the 90s. <laughs> yeah? It has like a little bit of a 90s vibe. I'm moving so I'm not in the shot. Nicole is in the real, has a real idea. I don't know, maybe you should do something. Maybe you should put your hand on your waist and, and look at that tree. Or I can do something yeah. sporty or something for the... No? Yeah. I don't know, like... like like a stretch or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you do a, can you do like a pose? Exactly. And that's perfect. Like or a this, or one of my uh, like ice skating poses. Like yeah. yeah, that or would be nice. Sort of Actually, um, wouldn't that be nicer on the ice? Like no, in this. No, no, okay. I, li I like the rocks in this background. Okay. Then we can move it over there. Now, instead of posing and stretching, just like actually stretch. Like, okay. This is like we're thinking candidly. Like, it's like, not. It's yeah. not like she's making a reel. She's documenting while you're stretching, and okay. then we make a reel. Okay, I get it. Fine. Okay, so kind of do your like, you know, stretch like normal. Can you do some of those ballerina ones? I like those with the leg, yeah. like with the leg in the back. I'm going to feel my shadow doing it. Woo! Yes! Oh my gosh. Sivan, come here. Triple selfie! Yay. Hey. <laughs> so this was a very cool experience, I have to say. 
I'm super pumped. This was so much fun. Seriously, thank you, Nicole, for joining us on this day. Thank you, Sivan, for participating in this. I know it was like a little bit hard to open up at first, but it was really, really, really fun. I got to be a director for a day and take out my inner bith, <laughs> the uh, words that, uh, yeah, I'm not going to curse that much in this video. We actually did film the bye from the field. So I'm going to include that in the video. And of course, there's going to be bloopers. I mean, what did you guys think? <laughs> of course, there are bloopers. So many bloopers. I don't know if bloopers or behind the scenes, but definitely stay tuned to watch those. Now, as for the cow embroidered hoodie that I was wearing there, I will be making a full hoodie review in the next few days. I think it, it was actually already filmed. Uh, this is, yeah, the, the time schedule of filming and uploading is very different. So that one was already filmed and it will be uploaded, I guess, in the next two, three days. I'm also wearing one of the other hoodies from that video. I hope that you guys will learn from it. I'm working on more videos about product quality. There was also the socks video. There will be t-shirts. There will be all of the bottoms stuff. I also ordered more sports bras. So many products that are coming here to be tested, including a full video of products made with less than 300 DPI because people are obsessed with that for no reason. But I'm going to stop yapping. We're going to head back to me in the past, telling you goodbye with Sivan and Nicole. And of course, a bunch of behind the scenes footage. After that, links to Sivan's store, Instagram, and Nicole's Instagram and YouTube down below in the description. And special thanks to Vincent from Fourth Wall for these unique products for Sivan's store and for this photo shoot. And yeah, let's get back to the past, to the snow, to tell you goodbye. We're gonna say goodbye to this beautiful view. And we're gonna say thank you to Nicole. Thank you. Oh, thank you guys. So much Maybe you can get tag on camera. Yeah, let's tag on the camera. Yeah. Just hug bomb her. Yeah. Aww! With the Pirin Mountains in the back! How romantic! Yeah. How romantic. So, so that's a wrap for us for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, drop a like if you liked it. Um, and subscribe if you want to see more cool stuff like this. I will be doing more videos about product photography in the apartment. By myself with different products in stills mode and a little bit more selfie photography in a different video, but it was really, really nice just to document this thing, but without being sad, and with probably some bloopers at the end, and with this awesome cow embroidered hoodie. That was it from us for today. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you learned something new, and as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>
It's gonna get messy. Oh, That's no. how she treats her print on demand products. <laughs> I thought it would be funny. We're gonna see if it is or not. No! no. I knew it would happen. No. I'm trying not to ruin the shot it's with so the foot. Sure. As if you would put it in your closet. Okay. Now we get to see how if she's like one of those weirdos. Some people fold their laundry very, really weird, right? I feel like that's weird. Yeah, I know. Weird? It's so weird to me too. <laughs> you see, that's what you get when you're collaborating with Fourth Wall and we didn't pay for this merch. She's like disrespecting it. If you actually paid $25 on this t-shirt, you wouldn't be putting it possibly on cow manure. You had like this instinct to take the candid photos yeah, of I was! I, I, I have that instinct. It I'm looks sorry. good. You can, you can clip that out of this. Just like cut it out. Yeah. So I feel like my specialty, I'm really good at taking candid photos. Like what? Candid. Like like we're in the moment, we're doing things. Like the pictures I took of you and your dog, that was were like totally It wasn't candid. my dog. Or the dog. The dog. Now dog. everybody's going to think I have a dog. <laughs> you don't have a dog. It's Bea or whatever. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, I, the, it's, you the, were in the it's moment. the complex you were, dog. You were enjoying the company with the dog and I was like, this is So, So your problem is the fact that Sivan is not enjoying herself. Well, no, she's, she's <laughs> posing. Candid, posing and candid, being candid is like the... I think no. you're gonna do a good job. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna try my best. I don't know. So you're gonna let her walk away. Okay, cool. You're gonna let her walk away. I'll let her go. As if nothing oh, meant anything to you. I have to let her go. <laughs> and you let her go. By the way, Sivan can sing. Oh yeah. You only need the light. <laughs> Sivan doesn't know that song. Uh, <laughs> when it's burning low. I don't know. This is embroidery. Thank you, Nicole, for zooming in on my titties. <laughs> You're welcome. I, like, are you filming this? It's gonna be cool. Wait. No! Oh, no. <laughs> and, uh, that's a wrap.